there are a number of institutions which always shape an individual out of which educational institutions especially colleges play a very very important role in shaping the identity and consequently the future of the child warm greetings to everyone i am aishwarya dongre ips dcp law and order kochi city if taken this opportunity to explain to the students and all viewers the entire concept of ragging and the various implications associated with it ragging per se is a conduct which in normal parlance may sound fun but essentially affects the fundamental rights and the human dignity of students and all alike a lot of people believe that the entire concept of ragging is fairly new however ragging is something which has been going on in number of institutions in the country for a very long time it is basically an act of disorderly conduct where either by provoking a student either through sexual nature either through violence through verbal abuse you try to intimidate a student just on the pretext of he or she being new this is not something that we enjoy and this is not something that you can play with the ugc has undergone a number of committees a number of policies to understand the very crux of ragging and what is understood that ragging does not only have criminal implications but also social and psychological the ugc has set up a number of uh, anti ragging squads anti ragging uh, helplines that actually can enable students to reach out ragging per se can be of various nature it can be something as simple as a verbal abuse a verbal misconduct to something which can be as grave as causing voluntary hurt on a student sometimes people assume that it is between a student who is of a senior age to somebody of a younger age but that is not always the case it can happen by virtue of your gender by virtue of your caste by virtue of your class and also by virtue of your age ragging requires a very serious deliberation and at kochi city police and also as a enforcement unit we are dedicated and very certain about the idea that ragging shall not be tolerable the very act of ragging has implications in a criminal nature it can attract an fir against you which will invoke a number of indian penal code sections and th this will in fact affect future uh, prospects of getting a profession of getting a career of finding a job along with criminal implications it is also seen that the child or the student who actually indulges in ragging can be debarred from the educational institution can undergo suspension and also face a lot of academic setbacks in this very regard all academic institutions have been setting up anti ragging helplines they have set up posters which actually dissuade students from indulging in ragging and also given the students the freedom to speak about it today the idea is if you are a student of ragging speak up if your friend is a student or if your friend is a victim of ragging speak up and if you are indulging in ragging stop it it is a necessary activity which requires all stakeholders and all of us together to understand that ragging is not tolerable and shall not be tolerable especially in the new age of cyber crimes uh, you see uh, ragging has taken over in the digital space as well cyber harassment cyber bullying are the new age crimes these itself can draw ire and draw attention in the wrong space it would affect a student in a very wrong manner especially psychologically it will affect the student even the student's family life the student's personal life thus as a student and more importantly as a vigilant citizen it is a heart provoking and a heart 
given request to everybody to understand that ragging shall not be accepted and it should be stopped as i said if you are a victim of ragging speak up if your friend is a victim of ragging speak up and if you are indulging in ragging stop it thank you